son said he, he spelled my name right. <laughs> <laughs> and from the city of San Rafael, this is presented from the mayor's office. And then this final one is presented from Jared Huff Huffman's office from the assembly, a certificate of recognition uh, for Mario Gelati. <laughs> and Mona, many grandchildren, and his extended family. Ten days before he died, he was still hosting a lunch for his old son of Ohio classmates. Mario and Gelati brothers never said no. In my lifetime, I've never known someone who gave more to the community, schools, and veteran causes than Mario. Mario was a great friend, a great human being. He was a proud son of Ohio alumnus, He'll be very proud of this award. <coughs> Michael, as a gelati mouthpiece. <laughs> well, there's two great mouthpieces in uh, Marin County, and one of them is Rich, and the other is Mario. And I'm not going to try to take my dad's place, but first of all, on behalf of uh, my mother Eva, uh, my brother Dante, who's traveling, uh, our wives and families, uh, I want to reach out and say thank you so much. Um, great tribute to, uh, to our father and uh, to the legacy that uh, he created, and uh, such a great tribute uh, to his commitment to giving back to the community. That stemmed from uh, you know, my grandfather, James, and uh, the philosophy that uh, you know you uh, give back to the community in which you live and work, and uh, you do your work well, and you treat your employees with respect. And I think that's uh, good good words to live by for, for all of us, and we're happy to continue that heritage. Um, interesting coming in tonight, uh, you know, walking in, I was thinking about the projects that I know of that uh, we've done at Santa Fe High School. And, and been a part of, and uh, there's quite a few. Uh, I'm not sure if we were asked to do so much uh, because so many generations of Gelati brothers came through San Rafael High, and as they would come through, they'd probably get in a lot of trouble, and we'd have to <laughs> step up and make sure that they graduated. Uh, or if it was because of uh, my father's uh, inability to not answer the phone, especially when he knew Dolly Navi was calling. <laughs> project that she wanted to have assistance on, and God bless Dolly and Rich for all their hard work because they are the, uh, the, the, the backbone of, of the uh, improvements here at San Rafael and everything else in Marin County, too. Um, so, you know, just great tribute there, but, you know, walking in, uh, <laughs> in the sidewalk in front of the uh, pavilion here, uh, James Gelati Stamp in the concrete. So, pretty cool. I didn't even know it was there. Uh, but it's starting to have a little crack, and I, I can tell you now, it's, it's not under warranty anymore. <laughs> it was too thin and not heavy enough to play football for three years, I think, at San Rafael High. So, what he did do, and his passion for sports, was become a San Rafael yell leader. <laughs> You know, we're so blessed and fortunate to live in Marin, uh, to have uh, the heritage and the legacy that uh, we have, and I think we feel a responsibility, uh, as we all should, to uh, not take things for granted. This is a great high school, and 
And uh, this is a wonderful event that will help create more momentum to continue the good things that are going on here and rejuvenate the spirit and rejuvenate the life in the high school. And uh, we love Center Fowl and we love Center Fowl High School. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mr. Jones, Rebecca, thank you. It's really great to be back on this stage. Um, I was in the class of 71, as you heard, and uh, yes, those that need a calculator, that was 40 years ago. <laughs> that was the last time I was on this stage. And uh, tonight I'm going to take a few minutes to pay homage to uh, Byron Jones, mainly relying on not my memory, because that's fading rapidly, but on the words of his students uh, that will demonstrate that Byron truly deserves this Hall of Honor tribute. Let me start with two quotes. Uh, Mr. Jones is still my favorite teacher of all time. Another quote. He's an incredibly huge part of my high school memories. Those of you that uh, were part of that, think back in those memories. What do you remember? What were the things that stick out in your mind? How many of you, show of hands, performed on this stage? Uh -huh. I can still see in what's left of my mind's eye the wonderful shows that we perform uh, under the watchful eye of a Hugo Rinaldi and Byron Jones. Uh, Oklahoma, Brigadoon, West Side Story, and my personal favorite, uh, The Music Man. Now, those of you that don't know that musical, it's the story of a man who made an incredible impression on a small town community through the power of music, the power of passion, and inspiration. Does that sound familiar? I don't I'm home again, bro. That was horrible, Jim Robinson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to get the sun back in the Quartet back then. Larry French actually was the Buddy Hackett 
roll. What was it called? Uh, Shaboobie. 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 <laughs> and we put his face in right there just to kind of cover that up. Right there. This is as, um, in high school you taught us to sing, but in harmony you taught us to sing for a lifetime. Aww. Aww. Here we are, back in school. Let's get started with a little bit of math first. I was trying to figure out how many lives Byron's work might have affected, so let's go by the numbers. 32 years at San Rafael High School, 30 years First Presby, there are a number of people, etc. That's about 480 people. Therefore, about 3,840 students and about a total of 15,360 lives affected by this work. It's quite a Just how much music and teaching and performing continues to play a part of all of his students' lives. First, um, how many people in the audience right now are currently involved in music or the arts or are performers in, in teaching or educational professions? Can you stand up or raise your hands? Pretty significant. Stand up. You deserve it. Show of hands, how many people applied performing sometime in your career? Mm -hmm. Guilty. Uh, finally, how many of you can say that you spent time in Byron's classes um, and that that time had a direct impact on how you live your life today? Dozens and dozens of comments about Byron um, compiled by former students. The passion behind these statements were absolutely astounding. There were a few key themes, four of them in particular. He served as a key source of inspiration to those he touched. Byron always had a kind word and was very encouraging. He was fair-minded and promoted self-respect. And Mr. Jones created a shared passion for music performance that developed a power of community among those that participated. Let's go number one. He inspired those he touched. Here's a few things that were said. You know, he can't walk down 4th Street without someone recognizing him and thanking him for what he did for them in high school. Another one. I remember Mr. Byron Jones as warm, kind, talented, inspiring, having a beautiful voice, inclusive, non-judgmental, and commanding respect. I consider Byron Jones a great teacher, a friend, and a mentor. Second grouping, always a kind word and always encouraging. This person said, Mr. Jones seemed to take us into a flight of music, and the words of the songs almost really didn't matter. He helped us improve through encouragement and training, and never with ridicule or embarrassment. Another one, Mr. Jones is inclusive. This is a rare and valuable skill in any education. I was friendly but a bit shy, and he drew me out. This classroom was a place that felt constant and safe to be um, yourself. This is where I wanted to be, especially when things didn't always feel like that elsewhere in the world. There were a few things going on in the 60s and 70s. <coughs> Number three, he was fair-minded, and he promoted self-respect. He was a master at getting the most out of his students. Mr. Jones would have some troubled boys in the general chorus who thought they couldn't sing, or they wouldn't sing, and he'd not only get them to sing, but they'd end up loving to sing. And he took his job very seriously, but he made it fun too. But you had to be on time to class, or you weren't allowed into class. I remember numerous notes and letters from parents thanking him for how he had helped their child blossom. <coughs> Lastly, uh, he, uh, he expected students to follow his rules. Show up on time, pay attention, but then he made magic. Kids wanted to be in class, they wanted to participate, they wanted to be a part of this magic. The fourth category, he created a shared passion for music performance and the power of a community. He made music fun and dramatic, and he pulled a ragtag group like ones you saw there, <laughs> together into an actual chorus. And he didn't just do this once, but he did it every day for 32 years. 
What a fantastic, energetic, dedicated teacher who really believed in the talent of his students. This one said, I believe that what I came away with from, from being in his class was more than just music. It was that sense of doing what it is you love and you always have passion in your work. It, it, it keeps you young and vibrant. And that was Mr. Jones. We were lucky to have him as a teacher. But I found one tribute that seemed to kind of sum it all up of why Byron Jones deserves our thanks in this award. It was his class that I never wanted to miss, and his class that I look forward to every single day of my four years at San Rafael High School. It wasn't so much the music we studied, rehearsed, and performed, but rather the special magic he created using his unique approach to teaching. His classes were always carefully crafted to motivate and inspire. Even his most difficult and indifferent students. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, he was supremely fair-minded, always serious about the task at hand, yet he never lost the distinctive sense of humor that captivated and enchanted his students. If you happen to perform something that was particularly noteworthy, a solo, for example, Byron would express his pleasure by raising himself up off of his piano bench with wide eyes and a radiant smile, and he'd extend an outreached hand, and he'd salute you while he was banging on the top of the piano. <laughs> Good boy! Good boy! When you receive that kind of accolade, you know that you've achieved something very special. Even today, when I finish a performance, a project, or activity I consider laudable, in the back of my mind, I still hear the sound of Byron banging on the top of his car. <laughs> and I can feel it, and it makes my heart swell. And so, everyone, with love and thanks, let us rise and bang the top of our personal pianos for the man that taught us to embrace life work hard, and to give respect to all, and then to, above all, sing. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Just on a personal note, I just want to say that I was one of those people that was deeply affected by Byron. Um, I've known him since I was about five years old at First Press in San Rafael. Had a huge musical impact on me, so thank you.